Hello again people, right, a um, uh, video with a slight difference this morning because um, I have uh, been awake most of the night, uh, couldn't sleep, then did sleep for about an hour or so and then uh, couldn't really sleep again for whatever reason. I'm not normally, I've got nothing wrong with me, no stress or anything, it's just um, uh, I think I actually had a uh, afternoon nap yesterday well I know I did and I shouldn't have and that disrupted everything so um, but the beauty about that is when I'm laying there trying to sleep I think and I think about trading and then I think about reasons to make a video and um, as a result we've had a few videos made this morning uh, about EAs and um, uh, how I think this EA uh, optimizing and how I think the particular OTG EA is going to be brilliant but this video is about how I um, like to view charts from scratch. So, um, GJ, we're looking at. I was looking at. I always look at uh, um, the dollar index. Sort of, there's my go-to chart to just see what the dollar's up to, and then try and find see whether cable is uh, in a similar situation. In other words, uh, potentially going down when the dollar index is up and the opposite uh, thing. But cable can uh, diverge from the dollar index more than euro. Uh, let's have a look at uh, EU there. Problem with euro is I hate trading it because it is just so slow. These Look at these tiny candles compared with, say for example, GJ and uh, GU. Uh, there. <clears throat> so real movement there so what do I do now well uh, I start drawing ascending and descending trend lines uh, connecting uh, areas that create new highs here and um, and then uh, this one here which is currently creating a new high uh, you have got uh, your three candle reversals going on in here as well and um, basically then what I want to do is join areas and this is the line chart where the line chart comes in handy join areas that have forced price higher so here has created a new high here as you can see price is above that level there so that's a strong level and they're only regions if you like zones so if price is going to go uh, down it has to bust up through that level so it stands to reason that uh, if you get the right signals and the right trend reversal to be re uh, not to be three candle reversal somewhere here to the downside um, then uh, it 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 would um, it would be sensible to look for a short into this supply area or uh, demand area should I say support and um, the other thing to notice just by eyeballing this chart is how and that that's why I love the line charts how that area there that created a new high actually acted as um, old resistance uh, support rather as old as new resistance uh, apologies I have had a bad night's sleep so if it sounds a bit muddled I apologize um, the reason I'm not traded this morning is because I took two stocking gold trades during the night and I had things to do. I fancied some food, I've dealt with the dog, uh, and missed quite a few good opportunities uh, this morning. But I'm not in the least bit worried because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, there's trades absolutely everywhere. So this is the M5 chart. Let's have a look at the M15 chart, see what that's telling us. Well, where we are here is um, clearly a monster support there as well there connecting those two areas and we've got the daily pivot there as well um, what can we say all I would want to doing from this point of view is going um, long um, because as you can see we're in an uptrend you can draw your trend line we can connect that to that because this has been broken by that there that makes that a valid level it wasn't valid until this level broke that high there so you couldn't have drawn it that's the point 
we could connect that internal level there to watch how price breaks that and uses that uh, there that high has broken that and I call it an internal because it's still internal to that if you like um, an interesting note I've been as tweeting as you know about um, various live rooms and Monday was great then the best of the live rooms that are three live rooms that I liked on Monday uh, decided he wasn't uh, around on Tuesday no idea why no idea what's going on uh, at the end of the day they're all there to gather subscriptions and get the money out of you um, and that leaves a bitter taste in my mouth they just tease you with a few good uh, looking setups and then ask you for $150 a month or whatever um, so live rooms will always always um, not really appeal to me they just you can waste so much time and the other thing about a live room is uh, as I found out yesterday when the market was all over the place they were clueless not necessarily the one that um, was recommended by uh, Phil on, on Twitter losing Pip or Pip's losing or whatever um, uh, that's the uh, Wix don't lie loads and loads of really useful information um, but even there uh, the guy is obviously a good trader the guy that runs the room but even then, they are still pumping out this old rhetoric. Clichés. Don't trade Monday. Don't trade Friday. One trade a day. Well, I've, I've said one trade a day is great, but don't trade Monday and Friday. OK, I can understand why they say it, because they're there studying 30-minute and hourly charts, whereas I'm trading one-minute and five-minute charts. They have great money management, in, in my opinion. That's why I, I said these places are good. But they're all even the money management it's all two to one reward risk and all that malarkey great really good but to be honest with you um, they are there to get your subscriptions who on earth wants to sit in front of one one I went uh, last night because I couldn't sleep he was saying oh yeah only another six hours to go guys what you know I'm bored if I'm sitting in front of a chart for more than 15 minutes a day uh, on most uh, situations so be very very careful guys you could end up wasting your entire life listening to rehashed BS uh, by these places Wix don't lie obviously lots of good stuff there but it is still cliches anyway sorry for the rant and I have learned lots and lots of bits and pieces from all these various traders things that I've probably known about but forgotten about so anyway um, I will not be um, uh, moaning about them unless I find something that really does pee me off but uh, learn to trade yourself guys look at these charts draw a few levels and then trade them and I mean getting on to the um, nuts and bolts of a possible trade today we had a break of this uh, descending trend line here we had a um, move off of this uh, uh, support line that we'd drawn on multiple levels so it's easily um, I'll highlight that one so you can see exactly where it is there it is there connecting that and that clear support they all draw these in these li in live rooms as well but all of them don't use trend lines because they're all trying to reinvent the wheel with candlesticks and wicks and things you know been there done that got the got the t-shirt two simple trend lines every morning there and uh, connecting this one that will connect lows making new highs there and there that can be connected because that's a pullback that's created a higher high there and there uh, and uh, this one can be tightened up to the the levels on the line charts i absolutely love my levels on the line charts because people people can be anal about extremes of candles and stuff and how they connect three touches and all that malarkey all it is is it valid if it breaks the previous high simples once it breaks that look price just goes as long as you've got your rsi histo uh, trigger in there as well three candle reversal we can see that's happened there uh you're good to go same with this one minute chart with this um uh cable not as good i was looking at gj actually and there was a good move there although there was a move there you've got your three candle reversal there price is going up now that would have been where you would have wanted to enter you've got your rsi momentum move 
and we've got uh, seven or eight pips. GJ, which was what I was looking at, is even better. And we can analyze this chart as well. I wanted to trade this one, but uh, the dog distracted me. Do the analysis as well. It's such a quick process. Line chart, we know this is a, a support because that high has been broken by all of this stuff here. So we could do uh, a blue block there. We can also continue to have more blue blocks there. Because that, uh, that level there, there, has been broken by price here. Price, notice how price has come back to test it. Like I said, uh, uh, the potential situation for shorting on the one minute chart. Uh, we can just keep doing this. It isn't hard. Any level that has a new high, well, you know, these are easy because we know all of these are, have broken the high, so it stands to reason that's a support level. Stands to reason that's a support level, although that was a valid support level at this point here. This one wasn't valid until this had been broken with that one there. So GJ, once again, uh, you know, all you need is your line chart and just, just connect higher highs. Then you have got potential entry points for the long trades. Uh, let's get the candles back on. Uh, two B, uh, sorry, we've got two B patterns here, but three candle reversals. Three candle reversal there. An M1, potential entry, three candle reversal there. Once again, rooms don't use these... Um, trend lines in the way that I do. In fact, they don't even recognize swing trends, most of them like I do. And they, in my opinion, they just overcomplicate things. So, you know, you could do that on the line charts as well. There, there, new high there. And then uh, one minute trade could have been um, entertained. This is the best part here. Although that did create a lower low there. That's, that's a level of internal support. Just double check the line chart. Yep, yeah, slightly lower. Perhaps it's not lower, I don't know. That might be a, an invalid level, but uh, even so, you've got internal th uh, two, uh, three candle reversals there. That would have been a trigger entry off of that massive, massive support area. There, that candle there, because this treble check these things 2092 because the readings can be a bit skewed oops 2092 did was that the trigger no oh yes it was hang on 21 double check 21 yeah so my eyeball suggested that probably wasn't the right uh, level but it is so that was the entry about there on the new candle that low there four pips two or three pips then a possible 14 pips or if you'd held it or split your trade 16 17 pips that's the sort of trade I'm looking for and uh, once again we've got a new level here you know, this low was broken by price here and as you can see that was used perfectly as old uh, valid um, resistance acting as new support once price has broken through it. So superb opportunities, takes minutes to draw these lines um, once you get used to it and trades are abundant everywhere. Okay, thanks for watching. Now please don't take this the wrong way, I'm not slagging off live rooms but if you go in them, you've probably done it before, there are people, you know, they have sort of guest traders and they've done this on gold and they've done this on EJ and you've got 500 people or 2,000 people all hanging off their every word and talking about what they've probably done and um, just, just, if you're a novice trader, confusing the bejesus out of you and you've probably paid a hundred or a couple of hundred dollars for the, um, for the privilege, whereas... Uh, teach yourself support and resistance trend lines if you sit in these rooms they tell you not to do these trend lines <coughs> excuse me i'm telling you 100 percent trends work i forget what it is whether it's the wick off wick off theory 
or Dow, Dow Jones or Dow, Dow Theory, not Dow Jones, they, in my opinion, an Elliott Wave is a combination of all those things, but you do not have to have the complication with it. All you have to do is just draw a line that connects you um, line, line levels uh, and you know you've got a valid trend and then once that trend is broken all you've got to use is your three candle reversals there's the 3CR that little pink line there there's the um, momentum move there's your trade why complicate it thanks for watching have a great day